guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna slip cover some decorative pillows for the season. I purchased some fabric from Joanne Fabrics and this was from their home decor line. These are the colors currently um, in my office and in my family room. So I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics. I found it online and then I went to the store. Actually, I went to two stores. One store had like a yard, a yard and a half. And then I had to go to another Joanne Fabrics to purchase the remaining, uh, um, uh, the remaining uh, fabric that I needed. I'm slip covering six pillows. I could have purchased pillows, and if I found the ones that I was looking for, I probably would have done that. But I couldn't find pillows that I couldn't find the pillows that I liked. So I found the fabric that I like, and I said, "Well, customize some pillows by slip covering them for the season," which works even better because then that gives me the ability to slip cover the pillows for now. I can then take those slip covers off and change them out for a different season. Um, here's one that I've already made. I took an existing pillow that I already had and I just slip covered it. This pillow here is, is a fall pillow. So I take and I make my slip covers and I'm gonna show you how I did that in just a minute and just drop them down over whatever pillow I'm currently not using that's not in season. And voila, I have a customized decorative pillow to place in any room or any place in my home um, that's needed. So when the seasons change, I will then be able to slip this, take the slip cover off and um, recover it or leave it uncovered for whatever the decorative need is in that season. I bought enough fabric to make six pillows because there's going to be a couple in my office and a couple in my family room. So let me show you how I did it. Let's get started. Using this fabric, and each slip cover is gonna be approximately 18 by 18. So, let's do that. And I'm gonna cut these. And I got some fabric left over, so I'll take that to the side. But I've cut one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now I'm going to flip them over inside out. Because when you're so I will not be putting a seam at the top, seeing how, uh, I will not be putting a seam at the top, seeing how the, the top is closed. 
I'm just gonna leave it that way. I'm fine with that. And I won't be putting any piping around it either. It's nothing elaborate. It's just a slip cover for the season. And in a couple weeks, I'll be changing these out for fall. So instead of always having to buy new pillows, um, it's a lot easier for me to buy fabric. Well, I'm not gonna say easier because, you know, it does require time, but it's less expensive to purchase fabric and slip cover the pillows. These are a lot easier to store as well because I can have them dry cleaned, I can fold them up, and I can put them in a storage container and um, until I need them again. Versus I've got pillows and storage containers coming out of my eyeballs. So, now, um, if you're new, if you're new at sewing, um, I would suggest, of course, at this point, you would take and run your, um, your needles. You would take and put needles down the length of the fabric as to, um, keeping your ends straight. Um, I've been doing this for a while. I don't necessarily have to do that. But I will for demonstration purposes. But it's not something that it's something that you should do, but it's not something that you it's not something that I usually do. Unless I'm making something I've never made before. If I'm doing something I've never done before, I'll do it. Otherwise, otherwise I don't bother with pinning something as simple as this. This isn't difficult or intricate or anything like that. This is the pillow that I will be covering. Yeah. My hands. I'm gonna do it like a duvet. Find it's easier that way.
Now again, like I said, I'm not adding any piping around the edges or anything like that. They're just decorative throw pillows. And now the bottom is open. As you can see, um, it's still raw and open. And I'm gonna leave it that way. Now you can take this and you can do it by hand or you can do it by machine. I personally would do it by machine because it's faster. But I'm not going to do that because again, like I said, in a few weeks, I'll be changing these pillows yet again to a fall theme. And now this is the open end. As I said, you can take and then you can run a seam right down here and close this up. You can, uh, I would use a sewing machine, it's a lot faster, but you can do it by hand. You can even, and I've done this before, take Velcro. You can take adhesive back Velcro and put your strips in here if, you, if the pillows are gonna be touched or moved often and put your Velcro in there and close it up. The only uh, the only reason I'm not gonna do it now is I had a problem with the Velcro when I dry cleaned. So again, my pillows are not gonna be moved around. You're not gonna see them. Once they're sitting like this, this is all that you'll see. But you can if that's what you wanna do, if you want a more permanent situation. You can also add embellishments to this. You can add tassels, you can add um, embellishments in the center you can add uh flowers you can add roses you can add medallions whatever you want to add in the center of this pillow to kind of pop it and make it 3d um you can do that but this is just perfect for what i'm going to do so that's it guys we're all done i made you can't see them all <laughs> But I made six pillows and um, they all turned out just the way I needed them to. And in the fall, I will then take the, I will get some more fabric and I will do the same thing. And I will slip cover decorative pillows in the same manner. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed my video on slip covering decorative pillows for the season. It was lots of fun and uh, I think it's cost effective because the cost for six pillows was probably about the same, it cost me about $40 to make six slip covers as opposed to buying one or two throw pillows. And I get exactly what I'm looking for because I purchased the fabric to suit my decorative me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos every week. Be sure and come back next week and tune in. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!